All right, it's the first day of sweatshirt weather. It's a little cool out here, but I discovered on a recent trip that speckled trout have already moved inside. So today, Captain Justin Bowles and I are gonna see if we can capitalize on that. Come along with us. All right, as you can probably tell, it's super early. Sun's coming up in that direction, but it isn't up much. But Justin and I are gonna start with poppers to catch bass, at least target bass. Last time I came here, the bass fishing was crazy good. The fish were feeding on white shrimp. So we're gonna see if we can duplicate that success this morning before we target trout. Dude, this bayou was caked, absolutely caked with Salvini the other day. No, no, I've caught them in here. Prior to that, they're not gonna bite till the sun gets up a little bit. If this tide's falling, it should be pulling white shrimp through here. I can't tell what it's doing, if it's doing anything. Oh, teal season, I forgot. Oh, shoot, that's a gator. Dadgum it. Coming to get you, Justin. It's a bold gator. Or a hungry gator. Same thing the other day, like I didn't get a bite until I looked over and the sun was up. There is some current moving up something in this charter, huh? Yeah, there's a little current. I remember watching Bill dance with a kid he used to throw it in his bait all the time. Yeah, I've caught a million fish on this bait. A million? Roughly. Same color or you use different colors? I, I don't really give a shit. I don't think it matters. I don't even pay attention to the color. No, four bucks. I like this bait more than the pop R or the chug bug. Really? Yep. Marsh, yeah, it's beautiful, huh? Like you can play football up there. Yeah. It's so funny because like the other day I was I was literally about to give up. Like I hadn't gotten a bite. Just like today. And I left them biting. I mean, it would, they were popping shrimp all around me. Current's moving pretty good. It's encouraging. So you know there are white shrimp in here and you know there are bass in here. Is it just a situation where the bass can't see them? Like why does the sun have to get up? Or do the white shrimp not get active until the sun gets up? Yeah, I mean, I guess they could stay down and just come up, you know, and start migrating once the sun gets up. I don't know. Don't know the answer. 6.42, so sun should be popping up any minute. All right, Justin and I have made a lot of casts, only one blow up, but that's kind of what happened to me the other day. The fish didn't bite till that sun got up and then they went crazy. So hoping the same thing happens today. It's currently 6.45, late sunrise this time of year. So the sun's just now popping up on the horizon. So we see if that gets those white shrimp moving, gets those bass active, and we have a nice little flurry of activity. I don't know, every day is different, we'll see. See, the problem is you start getting impatient to go fish trout. Got to wait. Got to wait at least 15, 20 more minutes. All right, let's see the sun now. All right, come on, bass. Now you got to start biting. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, oh there we go. There it is. There's a shrimp throwing him. Oh, just heard another one. You heard him? There we go. Starting to happen. All I had to do was pull out the Zimmer Swimmer and they're gonna hit on top. Get him, get him, Justin. There we go. He just sucked it under, huh? That's about what you catch. <laughs> Not big fish. Did you throw on a fish or are you just blind? Just blind. He swirled at it a couple times. That's what I thought. And then he just kind of sucked it under. Uh -huh. Oh, get him, get him, get him, Justin. Oh, that's a good bass. I didn't catch any that big the other day. I mean, he ain't that big, but. I mean, it's a pound fish. It's about the best you can hope for in here. Love it, love it. Glad I came with you. Yeah, me too. Glad somebody can catch them. All right, we're almost out the bayou. Oh, 
Ooh, got him. There we go. Straight ahead, too. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got us a double. Monster bass double. Mine's bigger. Only your bass. That's what I say. I mean, it's like people are like, oh, those are dinks. Well, okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him. Like, yeah, they're dinks. If you catch them on top, it's a blast. And like, you throw fly rod poppers to brim, and that's fun. And they're smaller than these fish. Got him. <laughs> That's a good fish, Justin. There you go. All right. There he is. Yep. Oh, so pretty. Oh, lost him. Lost him. All right, Justin and I have reached the end of this little bayou, so we're going to go fish trout now. It is currently 7.43. Tide's rising hard, so trout bite should be pretty decent. Definitely the bass were not as fired up as they were the other day, for sure. But back in a second. All right, Justin and I are now fishing trout. We got quarter ounce death grip jig heads. We're both throwing power prawns. This is my last natural color. This is what I caught the fish on the other day. It's what I caught them on last fall. So many trips, but this is my last one. So Justin is throwing a different color. Kind of also like a white shrimp looking color. Actually, this natural really looks more like a brown shrimp, but fish don't seem to care. It's just very shrimpy looking. I hate to say it, but the tide is completely dead. It quit moving. It's not moving at all. Oh, oh, I missed him. You got him? Bad timing. Get him, JB. Oh, another one. <laughs> Whitey? No. Nope, spec. No. Just in time for this boat to see you. I got two bites on that cast. And it's funny, like, we haven't caught a white trout yet. Oh, shit. It's because they just don't hit this power prawn. I made a trip with Jeff last year, and we were throwing Matrix, and we caught the out of white trout i'm talking like crazy and then i came back a couple days later i threw this power prawn and didn't catch a single one not one there he is that is not a big fish that might be a little whitey yep <laughs> dude that's hilarious that is funny one trust and i bounced around a little bit looking for tide that's a good keeper trout nice speckled trout it's kind of a meager tide day today only four tenths range had a good rising tide when we were fishing bass but it's kind of chillaxed so we're here by the mouth of this bayou hoping to find a little bit of current and i got one there on my first cast so good sign there, oh, shit. Oh, goodness. Classic weak, weak tide bites. They're just there and you lip hook them. There he is. God. He just tied to move. There he is. All right. Whitey. Whitey don't play. He's small, but he's fillable. Unlucky for him. I wish I had my drop shot or Carolina rig with the little white perch baits. I bet that should work. Yeah. So much bait here. And this is like what you dream of. This is what you want to see in here. There's one. 
Missed him. There's one. That feels like a decent trout. <laughs> nope, just file hooked. Back or white? White. Hooked in the tail. You can see on this depth finder all the bait on the bottom here. That's what you really want to look for. Fish are here. We just see this water move. Oh, there he is. Whitey, I bet. Not big. Yep. Whitey. Keep her whitey. Oh, 